This is Using Streamsets Data Collector with Apache Kafka. My name is Ian Wrigley. I'm the Streamsets Technology Evangelist. The first thing we're going to do is build a pipeline which pulls data from an RDBMS. In my case, this is going to be MySQL, but of course it could be SQL Server or Oracle or any other RDBMS that you have. We're going to pull data from that RDBMS and put it into Apache Kafka. So let's take a look at what we've got in our database. My database is called demo. And within that, I have two tables, items and purchases. The one I'm interested in right now is purchases. So if I select star from purchases, you can see that we've got an ID number, the name of a person, the ID of an item they bought, the number of those items they bought, a credit card number, and a total purchase amount. You'll see currently the last ID is 5089. If I do another select, then it's now 5149. So I'm getting four or five purchases a second written to this table. This is the data we want to pull into Kafka. So let's flip to my web browser and log into Streamsets Data Collector. This is a new installation of Streamsets Data Collector. So I use the default username and password, admin and admin. And I get to this screen where it asks me what I want to do. And I want to create a new pipeline. And I'm going to call the pipeline MySQL to Kafka. Once I've entered that, I immediately get taken to the standard pipeline design screen. The first thing I'm going to do, the first thing I always do, is determine what to do with error records. I'm just going to discard those records for the purposes of this demo. Now let's select an origin. My origin is going to be the JDBC query consumer. The query consumer obviously needs to be configured, so let's do that. My JDBC connection string is JDBC colon MySQL colon slash slash DB host, which is the name of the machine that MySQL is running on, on port 3306, and the name of my database is demo. I'm going to give it my user credentials, that's Ian and Ian. And notice that incremental mode is already checked for us. That means that it's going to run the query periodically and pass all of the results that it gets back to my pipeline. So what is the query it's going to run? My query is going to be select star from purchases, the table that I'm interested in, where ID is greater than dollar offset order by ID. And that's the way we write an incremental query that we want to run our pipeline from. The initial offset is going to be zero. The offset column is ID. And let's just change the query interval to be five seconds just so that it runs a little faster in my demo. I want to test this out, so I'll just select the trash destination as my destination for now. And this is a very good practice when you're building a pipeline. Start off by sending everything to trash so you can incrementally build up your pipeline and not worry about actually writing to your final data source until you're sure everything works. So I've built my very basic pipeline to start with. Let's validate that pipeline. It validates successfully. So let's preview the pipeline. When I run the preview, I can see that the records being sent to trash are indeed what I expect. The person's name, the item ID, the quantity, and so on. So that's running as I expect. Let's now get rid of the trash destination and instead write to Kafka. So I'm going to use the Kafka producer destination. I need to configure that with some values. The broker ID is going to be broker one on port 9092. That's one of the machines that I'm running my Kafka brokers on. The topic is going to be called purchases. And I need to tell it what format to write the data in. The format I want it to write the data in for the purposes of this demo is JSON. Of course, I could write it to Kafka in any format I want. If I use Avro, then we support the Confluence Schema registry. But for now, let's just write as JSON. 
Let's validate the pipeline again. The pipeline validates successfully. So we can now run the pipeline. And when I run the pipeline, I see that immediately it started processing records. So it's taken those records and it's writing those records to Kafka. Let's prove that it's doing that by going back to the command line and running the Kafka console consumer. So the Kafka console consumer is just going to connect to broker one. The topic is going to be purchases and I'm saying minus minus from beginning. This Kafka tool just reads from that topic and it will display all of the contents of that topic for me. So there we go. I can see that there are all of these records in that topic and you can see that about every five seconds a bunch of new records is written. That's because my query is running incrementally every five seconds. So I've taken data from MySQL, put that data into Kafka and it's really, really easy. It's a very simple two-stage pipeline, just an origin and a destination. But maybe I want to do a little more than that. So let's go back to my pipeline. One of the problems here is that I'm writing people's credit card numbers into that Kafka topic. Now, perhaps I don't want to do that. Perhaps I want to mask out those details. Let's, so let's see how easy it is to do that. I'm going to stop the pipeline. And I'm now going to add a new processor. And the processor I'm going to add is the field masker. So that adds a new stage to my pipeline. The stage is the field masker. I can configure that. What fields do I want to mask? Well, I want to mask CC number. What's the mask type? Well, let's have a fixed length mask there. That's all I need to do in order to mask that data. Now let's run the pipeline again. So I run the pipeline again. It's pulling all of the new records from MySQL and writing those to Apache Kafka. And if I flip back to my console consumer, you can see immediately now that rather than writing the actual credit card, it's writing an obfuscated version of that data. So it's masked that credit card data out. It's incredibly easy to write a pipeline that will pull data from some source, in my case, MySQL, but it could be any of the sources, the origins that we support, and writing that data to Apache Kafka. Now, let's create a new pipeline. And my new pipeline is going to pull data from Kafka, enrich that data, and write the result to a new destination. So I'll go to my pipelines screen and create a new pipeline. And I'm going to call this Kafka plus enrichment to local file system. So in my demonstration here, I'm going to write to my local disk, but the destination could be any of the destinations again that we support. So I'm going to create this pipeline. Once more, the first thing I'm going to do is specify where the error records should go. I'm going to discard those error records. And now my origin is going to be the Kafka consumer. So I'm going to be reading data from Kafka. I need to configure it again. My broker URI is broker one on port 9092. My zookeeper URI is ZK1 on port 2181. And the topic name is purchases. That's the topic that we wrote to in the previous pipeline. The data format, it needs to know what kind of data is coming in. My data format is JSON because that's how I wrote it. I'm now going to enrich that data. And the way I'm going to enrich that data is I'm going to run a JDBC lookup. So what I'm going to do is, as I get my records in, I'm actually going to go out and look up some more information in a different database table and use that to add to the contents of this record. So I need to configure the JDBC lookup. 
it's going to be jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash db host on port 3306 and the database is again my demo database it's going to use my user credentials so the username is ian and i have a very simple password on this database and my sql query now is that i'm going to select the item name from the items table where the id in the items table equals and then i'm going to use a value from the record that came in so i'm going to say dollar record colon value item id so this is the value from each record that comes through there's an item id field in that record i'm going to pull that out I'm going to say that the column name that comes in is item name. The stream sets data collector field it should write this to in the record is going to be called again. Let's just call it item name. And the data type is going to be a string. Let's just add a couple of other features here. Let's enable local caching and tell it that it should expire after one minute. That's just to save us hitting the database table more often than we need to. And then finally, where should we write to? And um, We're going to write to the local file system. So again, this could be any of the destinations. I've just chosen to write to my local file system because that makes things nice and easy for me. Where am I going to write to? I'm going to write to slash tump slash Kafka demo. And just so that we can see things arrive nice and quickly, let's set the maximum records in the file to 20 so that it will write me a new file every 20 records. What's the data file that we should write to? Well, again, because we've been using JSON so far, let's stay with it. So I'm going to write my data out as JSON to that file. I'm going to validate my pipeline. It tests it, everything looks good. So let's run this pipeline. My pipeline is off and running. Remember that I've still got my previous pipeline running. That was the pipeline that was pulling data from MySQL and writing it to Kafka. Now it's pulling from Kafka, enriching the data and writing it to the local file system. So let's go back to my command line. And let's take a look in the slash tump slash Kafka demo directory. And in that directory, you can see that some files have been written. If we look at just one of those files, you can see that it's written the records to my local file system. And notice that now I've got this new item name field which specifies what the item was that the user purchased. And that's the data enrichment that we've done using that JDBC lookup. So hopefully you can see that it's really, really easy to use StreamSets Data Collector to get data from any origin and write it into Kafka to process the data as it's being written into Kafka. We masked out the credit card number in our example. And it's just as easy to write a pipeline which pulls data from a Kafka topic and writes that data elsewhere. In my example, I enrich the data. Of course, I could just have pulled it straight from Kafka and written it to my destination. My example destination was the local file system, but this could be Amazon S3 or Azure or the Hadoop distributed file system or the MapR file system or any of the other destinations that we support. That's the end of this presentation. You can visit streamsets.com to download Streamsets Data Collector. And if you visit streamsets.com slash community, you can find links to all the ways to get in touch with us. Thank you for listening.